All right, we are time for our Medical Monday segment with Advent Health this morning. And uh, this is a subject that I certainly relate to as a mom uh, with young kiddos at home. A lot of times we're so busy taking care of everybody else that sometimes scheduling those routine uh, appointments, yeah. making sure that you're seeing your primary physician, uh, it just sometimes goes to the back seat, right? Everybody else gets uh, the priority. Well, joining us this morning is Dr. Uh, uh, Sierra Davis, who is uh, here to remind everybody to make it a priority, right? Good morning, yes, doctor. Definitely. Thank you so much for having me, Carly. <laughs> you were even telling me before you got started that uh, physicians can even sometimes uh, be guilty of this as well. And, and and we get it. Everybody is busy and it's hard to, to plan everything out. Yes, it's very, it's very difficult, um, especially when you get into the routine of taking care of everyone else. Um, other than yourself. As a primary care physician, I can speak to that. As a mother, I can speak to that. Um, and sometimes we, we put ourselves on the back burner and we don't do the regular routine screenings that we need. So it's very important. I'm here today to let you all know that it's very important to have these regular screenings and not forget about it. it even in the land of COVID, we still need to have these screenings done. Absolutely. So which screenings in particular? I mean, who do you really want to focus on this morning and make sure that they're hearing you and saying, you know what, let me go ahead and schedule this? Well, a lot of times it's going to be the um, the, the caretakers, the mothers, yeah. the family, <laughs> the, the, the head of households that are always responsible for everyone else and um, not themselves. So generalized screenings um, tend to differ, but depending on whether um, gender versus age. So I really want to speak to um, though that population of people, but also just across the board, um, all age groups to remember to get your screenings. Um, generalized screening recommendations in general will be for um, regular routine annual physicals, which include blood pressure checks, um, regular routine lab work um, for women, uh, well woman exams, starting with pap smears and HPV testing from age 21 going to age 65, mammograms starting at age 40, as well as colonoscopies at age 50. And then also for men coming in, um, we'll need to have regular routine blood work, blood pressure screenings, colonoscopy and prostate exams uh, starting at age 50 as well. You know, what's interesting is I feel, uh, you know, this message of making sure you have actual a, a primary physician, because I think sometimes we get caught up with our specialist of maybe that specific issue that we have going on. Yeah. And it is nice to have somebody that's looking at the big picture, is it not? Yes. Oh, it's 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 key. And I have a lot of a lot of patients that will come to me and they've like just as you said, they've gone to um, specialist after specialist and they need someone to come and bring the whole picture together. And so that's what we do as your primary care provider. You can almost think of us as a quarterback, um, someone that is in your corner that can kind of piece together all of the, the parts of your medical history and the current conditions that you have to optimize your care and your treatment. Um, I was interested the blood screenings you were talking about having your blood work done. Uh, how often should that be done? Do you think? I mean, is that an annual thing? I mean, if, if it comes back fine, can you wait a little longer? I mean, obviously, everyone's going to be different. But in general, what do you think? Yeah, in general, um, what I recommend is starting at age 18 to have a routine panel of blood work at least once a year. Um, now, what type of screening tests and, and labs that are ordered at that point will be dependent on um, different things, different risk factors, um, family history, but at least once a year um, for younger individuals under the age of 30, sometimes they can go a little bit longer, maybe every two years, but I really don't like to push it just because there are a lot of underlying disorders that can start to occur and you may not even be aware of it. So yeah. that's what we really pick up on these screens. We have 30 seconds left. What's your take home? What's the message you really want people to, to hear this morning? My take home is that screenings, routine screenings are extremely important. A lot of times we put things on the back burner and we don't prioritize our health. It is extremely important. Uh, no one's going to look out for you like you. And we need to make sure you're the healthiest version of you and prevent dis disease progression. All right. Well, uh, we've been showing the website there where people can get more information. We know how busy you are. So thank you so much, Dr. Davis, for spending some time with us uh, this morning. We really do appreciate it.